whole day here. I'm taking a plane back to Tokyo tomorrow evening. So I thought, even though the weather, Belgian weather, fully sucks, um, I'm gonna try and spend a little bit of time in Brussels. So this morning, my mom actually uh, booked like a physio appointment for me, which was pretty good. It felt good to be like, mm, checked. <laughs> and the guy is also an actual acupuncturist, so I like, you probably can't see it. She does. So I had like three needles in my hand. Interesting sensation. I did not particularly enjoy the feeling of having needles in my hand, but it was interesting for the first experience. So I'm gonna have to take a train to the, one of the bigger stations and then go from there to Brussels. So I'm just sat next to me, so that's the end of this segment. See you in Brussels. Okay, and one thing also is that I don't have any 4G, so that's gonna be a fun day. I need to remember everything by heart, like the metro stops and everything. Familiar, but at the same time, it's bizarre. And also, everything smells of pets. That's big cities. I'm not 100% sure where I'm going first. Let's just say that I'm going this way, and then I'll figure it out. <laughs> not on purpose, but I am walking past Japan Embassy. You have the flag there. You can't really see it, but. <laughs> That's where I went to get my visa so many times with COVID on and off. Oh, I see where I am. Okay. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Just exploring. Okay. First stop was a fail. The shop I wanted to go to was closed. It's already a miracle that I found it without the address and without internet. I tried using the internet, but immediately it sucked every cent out of my account. <laughs> what was remaining? Like, phew couldn't even open anything so that bloody sucks so now i'm going back to where i started and i'm gonna go visit my old stomping grounds i'm gonna see where i'm gonna go visit where i used to live hopefully i'm going in the right direction <laughs> how did people used to navigate without <laughs> the internet maps i guess gosh okay is it this way Christ. changed this wasn't there before even on louise avenue we didn't have a mango and an arcade i don't remember what they used to be though 
This is where I used to buy all my plants. It's a very expensive shop, but it's a very cute shop. And then that's my street, parallel right there. There's a little coffee shop that's still there. Maybe I'll have lunch there, because I think they have Wi-Fi. <laughs> That is basically the only reason, because it's nothing special, to be honest. This is my street, and I used to live up there at the in that yellow building. <laughs> and the restaurant there changes every couple of months. <laughs> um, I think there's my tattoo shop. Well, actually, I get my piercings there. I've never gotten a tattoo there. Oh, that's still there. Taylor is still there. This thing has been there for years now. I've actually never eaten there. And then, yeah, there they are. That's where I get my piercings because I really like the guy here. Not as a person, as a, as a piercer. <laughs> and their jewelry is also pretty cool. But I've never gotten tattoos here. Almost did. Oh my god, the door to my building is open. <laughs> it's very tempting, but... There would be nothing to see there. Quite tasty actually. Uh, it's starting to rain. I want to go to the supermarket, the one that's next to my house, to see if the same staff are there. Just out of curiosity. If I had the money, I would change my, my piercings because they really need to be changed. But jewelry is expensive oh what's this this is new cookie shop why didn't they have a cookie shop when i left here that sucks okay here's the supermarket okay the fact that it's raining kind of sucks <laughs> Jeez, that whole building behind me is new. Wait, hang on. The whole thing, the lit up building, is new. You could see the Justice Palace way better before. Wow. I kind of have to go to my, my favorite spot in the city, but it's in the opposite direction of the train station. So, huh. You know what? I have to. I have to go there. Screw it. Let's go there. So basically, once you see the Justice Palace, you just go straight. And that's where it will be. City is the city, it's the city. It's too bad that they don't have the Christmas decorations up yet, but I'm pretty sure they start on the 1st of December here. Whereas in Japan, they're up already. See? Got a big wheel there. There we are. Oh, I don't think I have any change. I don't have any euros. And I wish I could buy a waffle right about now. This is not always there. But the view, the view, even if it's rainy and cold and what is that called? Foggy. <laughs> it's always there. Okay, let's not get run over. Yep. today. train station. It's still so early but I'm cold and it's wet and 
the people I was supposed to meet, I can't meet them. <laughs> and the shop I wanted to go to earlier is closed. Or under appointment only, it seems. I don't know. Yeah. So. I guess I'll walk back to the station. It's maybe 20 minutes walk. Maybe longer. So I still have some time in Brussels. But uh, I don't want to go in the city center. I've never liked it. So I'll just stay here and head back. Slowly. Yeah. So if you have the Justice Palace behind you, you go that way towards the Royal Palace, the Royal Park. And it's also the direction if you want to go to the city center on foot, but it's, it's a little walk and you need to know your way. And then of course, it's over there. See, since the, the Grand Place is this way, you can go that way and then hook it over there. But it depends where you need to go. And then that way is back to Louise Avenue, which I'm going to be going to. And there's also Poison d'Or, a bunch of shops, luxury shops on one side and like normal shops on the other side. So let's go over there. <laughs> See on this side you have like Zara, Levy's, Morgan, and on the other side you have like Balenciaga, Tomelato, I don't know that one, Tada, Bulgari, I think you have like Vuitton over there. <laughs> yeah, that way you know which side you want to pick. My hair is not enjoying the humidity. It's so weird being here because it's super familiar even though things have changed a lot <laughs> things are super familiar but I don't miss it like at all like I'm, I'm glad I don't live here it wasn't bad or anything I, just, I like I like being in Tokyo better <laughs> this building I used to go to the gym in that building something else that I just remembered by going through this route <laughs> is that next to the station, the station I'm going to now, is where I used to um, take my first uh, evening Japanese classes, like one hour every week. That's where I, I learned to use hiragana, katakana. I don't think I learned any kanji there. Maybe, I don't remember. So that was kind of my introduction to uh, my moving to Japan project. We're right back where we started. So this is Brussels Luxembourg, so Luxembourg Brussels Station, whatever the English name is. Looks like there's a little market today. I'm uh, pretty sure the school I used to go to was somewhere there, but they moved. And this is one of the uh, European Parliament buildings where I've also worked at. I just realized that I forgot to go back to that cookie shop earlier. <laughs> ah. 20 minutes until the next train. <laughs> and another thing I miss about Tokyo. <laughs> Trains here so long. Just made it to my gate in Brussels airport going back 
to Tokyo. Let's hope I have a good seat, a good flight, and that I'll be more comfortable than last flight. And maybe I can catch some Z's. Maybe I can get some sleep this time. That would be nice. I miss Tokyo. Not gonna lie, I really miss Tokyo. Belgium does feel very small and gray and cold. It was nice being there, but I do, I really do miss Japan. I really feel like that's where I'm supposed to be. I did have some reverse culture shock. I'll talk about that in a separate video. It was really interesting. But yeah, it's bittersweet because I'm leaving family and everything and my cats. <laughs> Feeling weird because there are a lot of people around here. So let's, let's relax and wait for a flight. Pretty sure this is a very Belgian thing. Someone tell me in the comments if you've seen something like this in another airport. Let me show you. This is a beer vending machine. So, <laughs> I would love a pre five beer, but I would be being like a racehorse, so no go.